it's at this point sometimes where you wonder should I even come in here, you know? Well, what a beautiful morning. In fact, you can't get much flatter than this. Uh, it's sunny, warm, um, flat calm, oil calm, lots of flies, which is normal. So I'm supposed to be doing a bunch of chores a day. But after sitting here now, my coffee, I think I'm going to forfeit those chores just for now, put them on hold. Every now and then you gotta do that. Um, you just take a day and go fishing. I like fishing. Uh, today I think I'll go to a place where I've never been before. It's a good day to, to explore some new waters. And I think I'll uh, hit up a buddy to come with me too. Now the place I wanna try is not gonna be an easy walk. It's gonna take a lot of effort to get there. But you gotta take a gamble sometimes when you're doing this kind of stuff. But I think today is the day to give it a try. Well, here we are, getting ready to do our trek in the woods there. Got my buddy Peter with me here, and we're going to uh, take our kayaks there now, tie them on uh, and lug them in the woods. It's gonna be quite the trek in there. We're gonna be good and hot time we gets in there. I'll just show you how I hooks up my kayak to, the, to my knapsack there. The goal is here, what I like anyway, is to have a short line between me and the kayak, and that way you're kind of lifting them on the front of the kayak and making it easier to lug along. And of course, I got my nice mountain warehouse knapsack here. A couple of clips on the back. There we go. Now once I put my knapsack on, I'm taking the pressure on my shoulders. And what makes this possible the best is to have this uh, waist strap here, because the kayak is going to want to pull back, but that way, good to go. And of course we couldn't leave little Miss Willow pants behind. You gotta come today too, so. Well, getting closer now, but uh, it's at this point sometimes where you wonder, should I even come in here, you know? You realize the gamble, this got really real. May or may not be anything in the pond, but it's gonna be a day of adventure, that's for sure. Hey, making out, buddy? Getting there. You warm yet? Yeah. A few little pud puddles along the way, Willow jumps in every time. Here's where a uh, lightweight canoe or kayak comes into play. I got a smaller one than this, but it's only eight feet long and it's 26 pounds. Always an adventure. Always an adventure, he said. But uh, this one is about 38 pounds, a couple pounds of gear on it. So we're looking at 40. So 40 as opposed to 26. <sighs> it's very noticeable when you start walking, trust me. Well, we made it. I can't say I wanted to go another two or three steps. You know, when you're looking at coming to a place like this, it's, oh, I can lug a kayak across the country or a canoe. Once you start going at it, is uh, you find out uh, it gets real pretty quick. Put it that way. But look at this. This looks like a fish pond to me. It's the right size. Oh, what's that out there? Oh my goodness. There's uh, otters. I think there's otters out there. Now, if there's otters there, it means they're after fish. But the other thing is, they scare away fish. Hmm. Huh. Well, I just seen fish breach right there, though. I saw fish just making a little, another one over there. Well, Peter's out in the water. 
Now, if any of you guys have watched my other videos where I got Willow, I'm going to put, I made up these stabilizers to go on the back of the kayak, because without them would be pretty much impossible to take her out, you know, even though she'd make it move the wrong way, so put those stabilizers on and uh, I'll be out there too. And by the way, there's a, I'll link a video on how I made those stabilizers in the video description here, just in case you want to make some for your kayak. That makes a tremendous difference. Okay, my dog, we're up. All right, guys, here we go. I saw a couple loons in the pond there as well, so there must be fish here. What kind of fish, I don't know. How big they are, I have no clue. And will they bite? That remains to be seen. That's what we're here for. Paddle around the pond and explore. See if we can catch a trout. Well, Willow's found her spot there. Just trolling around the pond there now. Scatter cast here and there. It's the thing about getting to a new pond now. You never ever know where the fish might be. I'm, I can see the bottom there, you know, with my polarized glasses, and it's not a whole lot of water here. So I'm just gonna poke around now and maybe find a deeper hole. The fish might just be hanging out there. Anyway, we'll plug along there. Stouts are not quite so bad out here, but they are in on the shoreline. Fish on and got it to the boat and lost it. If there's a fish here, you know, then uh, if he caught one like that, then there's more than one fish here, I'm sure. We'll get on to them once if they're here, I guess. I hope so, anyway. So I'm kind of looking around, paddling along to see if I can find a bit of a deeper hole. Because I'm guessing, you know, that the fish would be kind of in a bit of a deeper hole to get away from, you know, osprey flying over and that sort of thing. So, and the water would be cooler. So, it does appear to be getting a little bit deeper here. So, let's see what happens now with that. Deeper water might mean fish, possibly. <laughs> That's a rock, you ninny. <laughs> oh my. That rock is gonna get you. <laughs> Just found some deeper water, and I got a bite. Just like that. First cast. So I'll see what happens here now. If it comes back or not. Kinda gotta keep track where I am too. I'm not seeing any fish breach. So I'm wondering if they're actually feeding or not, you know? They may not be feeding yet. And it might just be something as simple as they might not like the spinner we got on. Here we go. Here we go. Fish. Yes, sir. Look at that. Play low. Oh, stay still, Willow. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Yes, boy. What? You got another one of you? Okay. Looks like we got a little pan sized trout here. And looks like I got an right through the gill there, which is, means I'm going to have to keep it. Cutting through the gills a bit there, so uh, anyway, it's one troll in the frying pan once. They're actually the t most tastiest ones, but it's just exciting too to uh, hook onto a trout. Found a little deep hole, and here we go. Fish in the boat. Peter got two now, I think, over two, so it might turn out to be a good day. Now, I just seen one breach, make a little splash on the surface, so usually that's not bad. Usually, if you see that and you cast over where they are, you'll get a bite. Look, I got a bite, Tula. Just like that. Yeah, they nibble at it. They're not real aggressive. Yeah, nibble. Oh, lost them. Stay still, Willow. Stay still. 
Stay still. Got him. Got him. Look. Just like that. Here we go. Willow. Calm down. Sit down. Look at that boy. Nice little, nice little pan-sized trout, boy. Got another one, brother. There we go, guys. Look. Another little pan-sized trout. I'd say that's what we're going to get here today. Not for a little feed. And he seems to be pretty plentiful. I saw two or three breached at one time then, so we'll get a meal of these today. Seems we're in, alright, bye. Okay, let's go back out there again. I got a nicer one this time, buddy, I think. Nicer one this time. Yep, this is a nicer one. Oh, yeah. Oh, last one right there. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Right there, look. Right by the boat. Right by the kayak. Oh, nicer one. Watch it, Willow. Stay still, stay still, stay still. I know it's exciting. I know. Oh, yeah, that's a nicer fish this time. There we go. That one's a little nicer. Look. Boy, oh boy, I seem to be struck right on here. I'm in a good spot here now, I think. I'm in a good spot there now, a bit deeper hole. Oh man, this is getting better by the minute here now. Woohoo! Yeah, sometimes Willow gets a bit excited. Like I do. She knows when I get the fish on that she that I get excited, so at that moment she usually gets excited too. And it's not a big deal if she did fall over we're only just feet away from the shore here. And I'd just grab her rope and put her back in the kayak anyway, probably, but who who wouldn't get excited, right? It's, no matter how old you get. Fishing in a little pond like this from a kayak. It's just fun. I can't explain it other than that. You could be oh, another bite, just like that. They're not feeding real aggressive, eh? Just like they they want. So I can see another one jump over there. There we go. Oh, heading on, lost him. I'd say he took my worm in more than likely. This is where, and this is what exploring is all about. Getting out in these ponds and got him. There we got him. Stay still, Willow. Calm down. Calm down. That's a smaller one. I'm going to throw that one back. There we go. I'm going to throw that one back. Now, there you go, buddy. I'll pull breach right in front of me. You wait and see if I don't get that right away now. Oh yeah, I found a place where the fish are. There's no doubt. Peter's, I, oh, he's biting already. Sit down, Willow. Sit down. There we go, look. Got him. Yes, sir. Willow, stay. Look at that, look. My Mr. Man. That's it, buddy. We got him. We're into him now. Oh, sorry, my dog. Now, that's just beautiful. Little pan-sized trout there now. Here we go, guys. Look. My pan-sized trout. That's what you're going to get here, too. But they're going to be some tasty in the frying pan at once. Stick around for the delicious fry-up coming soon. Oh, I see he's a whole bunch more. Peter's on his way here now. He's going to get into them, too. It's by Peter just saw in a nice one that time, boy. It's the biggest one of the day for sure. Don't lose that one, brother. <laughs> oh, my. Good bit of fun. There we go, boy. Nice. Got one on, Peter. Seems like a nicer fish, this too. Now, Willow, you stay calm there now, my dog. Oh, yeah. Yep, nicer fish. Had a nice one that time, Peter. Look at that one. That's a nice one. Nice pan sized fish. Look a fish like that. I'll, I'll look around the pond, you know, for like little landmarks. Like there's a rock there, and I can see an old stump over there. Try to make a little landmark so I can get back out to it. And try again, you know. Might just be where there's a hole of fish. Remember it for the next time or whatever. A lot to it, you know. Oh boy. Nice day. The wind picked up a little bit, which just keeps all the flies and the stouts away, or most of them. But you can't tell where the fish are jumping, you know. I was hoping today it would be pretty flat the whole day because I could see then exactly where those fish were and they'd. You kind of give themselves away, but that's fishing, isn't it? And uh, Anyway, if you're wondering about those stabilizers, I'm telling you right now, I would not be out here, not with Willow. And believe you me, it don't take a whole lot. You know, two of you just kind of put the weight inside the kayak for just a second and you're tipped over. So I gotta have those stabilizers on her when I take her, especially with this big butt. All right, time to go in and have a little cup of tea, a little lunch. There we go, bye-bye. Five nice trout there now. We're going to throw two or three of them, or three or four of them, 
in the pan now. I want a cup of tea. Look at that, buddy. Look, man. After all that size, buddy, you'd have some some catch here today. That's a beautiful trout, that is. Right, Willow? Awesome. But I'll think so too. All right, time for to put some in the pan. Oh, just look how red those fish are, look. Oh, oh, oh. That's the tasty ones there. Smell good already, is it, Willow? Huh? Smell good? You know what? The smell of fish in the frying pan is like, yeah. Don't worry. You'll get one for you, too. Not too fancy, just a little bit of Montreal steak spice. Good boy. Again, I wish there was such thing as smelly vision. You smell them dandy right now. What do you say, Peter? You don't want no fish? Okay. That's alright, then. We'll eat it. We'll eat it now. <laughs> yeah, buddy, they're just about done there now. Nice and flaky. Put the kettle on there. There we go. Fish all cooked. Get there a cup of tea on the go. Is that like what? Nothing like it. <laughs> you ever put them in the smoker? Oh yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Willow likes the tail and the bones and stuff. It's good for her. Lots of calcium. This is ours here. Look. Look at that there. Look. Oh, just like lobster or something. It's that fresh. Good day, man. Some good. Some good. Which he goes, boy. Well, I have a little, have a little tuck more left over from this one if you want some. Look, Peter, look. She's straight there, look. Oh, yeah. All right, we got our cup of tea gone. We're going to flick out, and the water's gone right flat calm again now. So we're going to take off and just for fun, maybe catch another. Fish or two, and uh, before he heads out, then here we go. Let's go. Hope she goes. Good, good girl. And she's nice now, guys. She is beautiful now. Three or four breached up there, Peter. Yeah. All right. I think this pond is uh, quite rich in trout. Now we're in the middle of the day too, it's hot. You know, I'd say if you were here first thing in the morning or late in the evening, you might uh, you might even have a better chance again, you know? Oh yeah, Peter. Line right off. Yes, boy? Peter just had a nice one. Snapped his line off when he got in the boat, thankfully. I'm going to have to switch to one of them spinners like Peter got on. Next thing he's going to think he's a better, better fisherman than me. Can't have that. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. Alright guys, I'm going to put that fish back. You notice that fish got a bit of a deformed jaw on to one, eh? Here we go. <laughs> back in the water he goes for another day. Well, I'm after catching a couple more fish and throwing them back. I didn't bother turning the camera on, just kind of relaxing here as we drift back into where our knapsacks are. We're going to hit the woods and drag these kayaks back out across the country again. Oh, well worth it. I certainly enjoyed uh, coming in here today. A quick note, a lot of you guys are uh, excited about the merchandise store that I got, and I'm just flabbergasted by that, to be honest with you. I don't understand it. Uh, why you guys are interested in that, but uh, for those of you who are uh, They just added a bunch more stuff there Some uh, travel mugs and baseball caps and different hoodies and different shirts I'll leave a, a link in the video description anyway if you want to go in and check out what's there so Check back half an hour to have sales on the go too, so but for those of you who do uh, Visit the store Thanks for your support, and uh, send me some pictures, eh? I pop up pictures on my uh, videos, like to do that every now and then, so. I'm with that, guys, that's a wrap. Peter's back to where our knapsacks are. 
and we're going to try to across the country again. What a wonderful day. I would certainly call this a success today. Good exploration trip. Did you have fun with my doggy? I think you did. You spoiled another beauty. Another good one. I think you did me today, boy. I'm not fussy with that. You wouldn't like it to come anymore. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> Burn you in, buddy? No. <laughs> Not tough, I don't want to do it. Come on. <laughs> Blooper! All right. Hold on. The way that... <clears throat> Fly. <laughs> Just in case you all didn't know, he's a bit crazy. Same for the faint of heart, hanging with everything outdoors. So until next time guys, take care of each other, get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. We'll see you next time, guaranteed.